Amy, is that file I requested before lunch done yet? Since it's almost time, I want to look over it before I get out of here. Uh, sorry, I haven't finished it yet. What do you mean? Didn't I tell you to finish it ASAP? How haven't you finished it yet? Not that I like to make up excuses, but I have already mentioned that I'd be busy all day doing with other work. I've been dealing with the company all day. Of course, I won't have time for that file. If you'd used the time you were traveling around on trains and such, you probably would have. Just saying. And yet you have the nerve to dismiss yourself from doing it? It's reason like this why I can't deal with hags like you. You've worked here longer than I have and yet you're basically useless. This is literally why younger people like me are able to outrank you so easily. <sighs> if that's how you think, then sure. Anyways, I'll be taking home the file and work on it at home. I would sure hope so considering I asked for you to finish it ASAP. Since you're so single, I'm sure you won't have any distractions like a boyfriend. Unlike you, I have a boyfriend that, as a matter of fact, is taking me out on a date today. So I'll be leaving on the dot. Don't wait up. <laughs> uh-huh. You're gonna leave that soon? I could have sworn we had a meeting about training today. They said we'd get paid for our time, so it'd be preferable if we attend the session. Shoot, I forgot all about that. <laughs> well, I'm the manager anyways, so I'll just set this one out. Not like anybody can really complain anyways. I'll be counting on you to share all the details of the session tomorrow, okay? Hey, isn't that a bit unfair that you only get to do that, Lisa? I mean, we literally all freed up our schedules just to attend this thing. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and be told off by a useless woman who can even do the easiest of tasks. I have better things to do today. Like look at potential wedding venues with my boyfriend unlike you. If I'm being honest here, my plans are way more important than some training session held by the company. Wait, Lisa, you're planning on getting married soon? <laughs> It only took ages, but my lovely boyfriend finally proposed to me. Hey, Amy, change of plans. That new hire is gonna be taught directly by me. You sure about that? I mean, HR did ask me to do it. Plus, I heard from HR that you're gonna go into retirement, no? I mean, you're going to get married and plan on starting a family, right? Oh my, word travels fast, doesn't it? <laughs> My husband practically begged me to retire. That manager position I worked so hard for, now all gone with my upcoming retirement. What a shame. <laughs> but aren't you really going to be busy with all the preparations leading up to your retirement? I mean, that's why HR asked me to handle the new hires training and whatnot. I'm obviously aware of all that, but I mean, come on. Dealing with a hag like you on their first day is practically torture. Plus, I heard that the new hire is young and good looking. <laughs> what? Also, a lot of the younger people quit immediately after joining a company, right? So, my amazing self thought about showing off all the fun parts of a workplace first. Make the job seem like a place where they can have a great time. It would also help being taught by someone who's reliable and beautiful, such as myself every day. That surely will get enough motivation for the new hire to not quit immediately. <laughs> the job. Being fun, huh? <laughs> Oops. I bet I ruined your plans for some alone time with the handsome new hire. I'm sure you were so looking forward to spend time with him. <laughs> it wasn't even planning anything like that, though. What are you trying to say here? <laughs> I saw right through your plans, and now you're panicking this much. Like I said, that isn't what I planned. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll make sure to let the higher-ups know of my idea. <laughs> and also, warn them in case that any of the new hires fall in love with me, 
to tell them I'll be retiring and focusing on family soon. Plus, I won't cause any trouble anyways, so I am basically the perfect fit to be in charge of these new hires. Now that we got all of that stuff out of the way, make sure you do all the hard work I have in exchange for taking the training off your hands. <laughs> hey, Amy, great job today. I took care of that file that the manager was requesting for you today. I sent it over to you via email, so could you take a look at it during your break? If there aren't any issues to fix, then I'll have it sent to the manager. I was just looking at my emails now, actually. Amazing work you've done on this file. You've helped me out a bunch. Thanks. Glad I could help. If you have any other work that you may need some help on, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. I noticed that you have a lot on your plate all the time, all of which are direct orders from the manager. That's true, but the manager is always pretty busy as well, so... Well, yeah, but anybody could see that it's way too much. They never hand out tasks to the others, but always towards you. I can try to get her off your back if you want me to, you know. She really needs to consider how much you can handle. Oh, that's really sweet of you, but I promise it's fine. No need to do all that. I've been around since she joined the company. I'm sure she just feels comfortable asking me these favors. I really don't think that's why, though. Once again, that's really sweet of you to be so worried, but I promise I'm okay. The manager is gonna retire soon anyways. Starting tomorrow, she's gonna use up her paid holidays, and also tonight is her farewell party. I get all of that, but it's so painfully obvious that she treats only you this badly. Why is it that the manager looks down on you so much anyways? Like, I'm pretty clueless to things, but even I noticed. Maybe it's because I'm just a useless old lady. <laughs> Anyways, this conversation is over. I want to enjoy my time drinking at a party later today, so enough of the talking and get back to work, okay? And since you kindly offered, you will help me out on some of the workload, yes? Of course I will. Anything you need. How noble of you. I will email you a couple of the tasks. I have to take care of some things out here before I head back into the office. Um, hello? It's my farewell party today, isn't it? Everyone is all here, so where in the world are you? Sorry, Lisa, but I did tell the others at the office. Did you not hear anything? I have a personal rule of not checking any notifications from work after hours. Of course, I haven't heard anything. Oh, really? Well, that's sorry to have to tell you through text, but I'm currently at the hospital. Huh? The hospital? When I was driving the company car, I got rear-ended by someone, and because of that, I got carried to the hospital. The injuries I got are pretty bad, so it was an emergency. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sit out on your party. Are you serious? You're gonna sit out my farewell party? And this is all because of some traffic accident? Ridiculous! You just had to get into an accident on the day of my celebration. Sorry. Get over here now. I am not accepting your absence from this party. Wait, I got into a horrible accident and you still want me to attend? Well, I'm sure you're just being dramatic with your injuries. Plus, you're able to message me now, so isn't that bad, or is it not? Or even this entire accident story is all just a lie. Huh? That has to be it. There is no way. You're probably just so jealous of me and all of my happiness that you can't stand to see it. That's why you made up this whole story to get out of it. Haha. <laughs> Hold on. I am not one to lie about things like this. It really happened, and you can even ask the others to vouch for me. Even now, I'm all wrapped up, laying on the hospital bed. And yet, you're still perfectly capable to message me. That's because the injuries were at my legs. Both arms aren't majorly injured, but my right leg isn't much broken, and my left is bleeding pretty bad. Huh. Your lies aren't of any interest to me. Just hurry up and bring your ass over here. It'll be boring without you here. Wait, Lisa, you wanted to drink with me that much? Ugh, 
don't get the wrong idea. I wanted to pester you and enjoy my drinks. You are supposed to be my punching bag today. What? I mean, look at you. Being bullied by a younger person who outranked you. Not only that, but now has managed to be successful enough to retire young as well. <laughs> I can't imagine how horrible you must feel right now about this entire situation. I want to see your loser face and enjoy my drinks. Today is my last day and I want to thoroughly enjoy it. How horrible! Ugh, hurry up and get over here! Celebrate my retirement with your anguished tears. I don't even care if you were in an accident. You better crawl your ass over here and that is a direct order from your superior. Ugh, as you wish. Make it quick. As your superior, it's your job to make me content. Alright then. I'll take your word for it and crawl to the venue. But just know that whatever comes from it is not even the slightest bit my fault. It's not my problem from here on out. What? Now, if you'll excuse me, I will be right over. Please wait for me just a little bit longer, okay? Look at what you've done! Because of your stunt, my party was completely ruined. Who even thinks of coming covered in blood and wearing a hospital gown nonetheless? I mean, I did try to change clothes. But my cast kind of made it a bit hard to put on any pants, so... Plus, my clothes were also covered in blood, so I mean the hospital gown seemed like the winner here. How terrifying! Do you think it was to see you literally crawling over here? Your hair is a complete rat's nest. You were in a hospital gown, and the bandages were all spotted with your blood. We were all having fun at this Japanese restaurant, and you completely ruined it. I thought we were in a Japanese-themed Resident Evil series. I mean, even as a monster of Resident Evil, I still managed to move if I tried hard enough to. I mean, it hurt so much, but I tried my best to get here for you, Lisa. Although, I did get scolded a bunch by the staff the moment I got back to the hospital. When I explained that it was direct orders from my superior, they did start to question my sanity a bit. I was apparently supposed to go through some procedures first. <laughs> This isn't a laughing matter, you idiot! Because of that stunt you pulled, not only the office staff, but the restaurant staff all felt uncomfortable. Not to mention, your blood was leaking all over the place. I got charged extra because of it. Oh my, that's bad. Well, have fun with all that. Uh-huh. Why do I have to pay for it? You should be the one to pay for all the charges and for the party you ruined. Including a bit more for ruining my day, you owe me about $10,000. $10,000 is a bit too much, don't you think? <laughs> Besides, I already said that before. Whatever happens won't be my fault. The blame should go to the person who forced the injured one to an event. You miserable old hack! I'll be sure to get all the money that you owe me. Don't get all cocky just because I'm retiring. I may be paid on leave, but I'm still your superior. Don't you know what happens when you stab me in the back? How are you feeling today, Amy? If it's okay with you, I could visit the hospital today. Sorry, I don't think you can yet. Because of the stunt I pulled on my first day, they are being a bit more strict on me, especially to those from the office. Well, you were forced to break out of there and deal with company stuff, lol. In any case, I guess I'll save my visit for another time then. I'll just let you know about the situation. What do you mean? Well, I mean, wasn't the manager going on about how you have to pay the fees of the event plus interest? Well. That's all being taken care of by the company, so you don't have to worry about a thing. You have no reason to pay even a bit of it. What? The company's gonna take care of it for me? I reserve that entire party as company business, which means that the company is the one to deal with all of it. In order not to cause any more trouble for the store, they're gonna pay the fines immediately. Oh, what do I do? I didn't think I would get the company involved into this mess as well. I'm sure once I get discharged from the hospital, the company will also have to deal with me. 
nothing bad will happen to you, so relax. The CEO being my father, I already explained the entire situation to him. Wait, CEO? I didn't mention it before, but I am the son of the CEO. Sorry for keeping it a secret. What? Oh no, I've been pushing work onto the CEO's son this entire time? It's completely fine. I'm the second son anyways. My older brother is the one taking over. I'm just here to have fun and work. It's why I work at this office and not the head office. Really? It's a pain to be seen as the CEO's son, so I was planning on hiding it. But I still couldn't stand by and watch you suffer like that, so I told my father and my older brother about everything. Anyhow, the company is paying off the store for the trouble caused, but the company will be charging the manager for the costs as well. Something about damaging the company's reputation and trust or whatnot. I see. So at the end of the day, the manager is going to be the one to pay for everything. Exactly. So no need to fret over anything. And once you get out of the hospital, you can safely return to your everyday life here. Of course, I will be asking that you keep my family relation a secret between us, lol. <laughs> of course. Thanks for taking care of all of that for me. Once I get back, I will be sure to throw more work at you. <laughs> Look at what you've done! Because of you, my marriage is in danger. I finally get proposed to and was about to go through with getting married. He's now backing out. Oh no! What happened? You already have your retirement date set and everything. That restaurant where you pulled that stunt is quite popular as you may know. Well, it just so happens that my fiancé was there as well. What? Your fiancé? He was out drinking with an old friend. They were supposedly celebrating our marriage. They were there to witness our bloody mess of a party. Your bloody self crawling through, exclaiming that you came here as you were ordered. Everything down to me being the one who forced you to come. Oh, that's unfortunate. If I had known that he was going to be there, I would have crawled over to him and said my greetings as well. <laughs> Stop joking around! It's your fault that my wedding and marriage is going down to drain. To think you're the type to abuse your powers, he said. I don't think I can go through with this marriage now. Discovering your personality, he said. I didn't even get a chance to defend myself or our wedding. Not to make any excuses, but I don't think that this is my fault. I was forced to go from your orders. I was just doing as I was told. Shut up! This is all your fault! Becoming jobless and losing my marriage? I'm requesting to cancel the retirement and get back to work. You better prepare yourself. I will make it my personal mission to make you miserable the moment I get back. If you think I was mean before, you have a whole new thing coming to you. Oh, how scary. But I don't think you'll be welcomed back to work here. So I'd say I'm pretty safe. You can't push work onto me if you don't have work to begin with. What? Yeah, I had just heard from Stan earlier. The fees from the restaurant will all be paid for by the company. But the company will be charging you for the amount they paid later on. They were pretty mad since you saw their reputation and trust. Do you really think that the company is gonna welcome someone like that back with open arms? <laughs> mad? But it's a place to drink. Plus, I work hard and it's how I surpassed you. There's no way they won't gladly welcome me back. Not to burst your bubble, but the reason why you surpassed me isn't because of your work. I declined the company's offer to promote me to manager, so it was given to you instead. Oh, wait, declined? Yes, I declined the offer due to personal reasons. You see, my mother is quite sick, and since I needed time to take care of her, I had no choice but to decline. Throughout the day, I have hired help to watch over my parents, but my useless self is also helping out, so I always need to leave exactly on the dot. Which is why the promotion was something I had to decline. And because they desperately needed a manager, you were selected. Oh wait, really? So it wasn't my skills that got me here? 
The accident and being hospitalized has me worried about my family. But it also came with some benefits. I got an email from the main branch of our company. They are offering me the manager position once again. What? After I get released, they would like me to be manager. They understand my situation with my family and don't mind so long as I agree. You're kidding. <laughs> my job. Once I become manager, my paycheck will surely be enough for me to place my parents in a nice retirement home. And if I do that, then that's a huge weight off my shoulders. I'm honestly exhausted with taking care of them like this, so I'm thinking about accepting the offer. That means you'll be manager. <laughs> Even if the company welcomes you back, there isn't really any available positions. That would mean you would have to become my subordinate. No way. I don't personally mind that. I mean, you've taught me so much about being manager. I'm sure I'll do great. Well, you see, I hope they accept you back into the office. I'll do my best to recover quickly. I can't wait for us to be back in the office together. Well, I'll leave you to it. I got released and went back to work, but had yet to see Lisa come back. She did try her best to be noticed by the higher-ups, but did not budge at all. So she ended up retiring after all. Apparently, her wedding ended up not happening. And now she's trying her best between jobs to find stability. But that hasn't gone well at all considering any time I go to the bar, I see her in a drunken state. Apparently since lunch. The new hire, Stan, has been a great colleague who has been gradually going along with me. He has been a major help at work, and thanks to him, I'm able to handle both work and my parents without stress. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video!